Hello, beautiful family. Hello, all born again believers. And God bless you, and God bless you, even if you haven't come to Christ yet. May the Lord bless you. Um, I'm doing this video as a it's a prayer of protection and it's Psalm 91 where I am right now is just up at Scarborough Castle in the UK uh, that's looking out looking uh, looking onto the the cliffs uh, and just see the harbour down there and the tide must be out anyway I hope it's not too windy and you can hear me but I I wondered where I should do a video and I I thought maybe this this place would be the best where there won't be so many people and, and I'm right so the Lord led me up here to do this. Anyway, my name is Stephen. Um, I love the Lord Jesus Christ. I am born again. And first of all, I want to give the gospel. Um, Jesus Christ um, left his glorious kingdom, came to this world um, to die for our sins he was crucified on the cross for all our sins past present and future he was buried and on the third day god raised him from the dead that's the gospel and simply it, and i mean simply by truly believing on that and calling upon the name of the lord or confessing his name you are saved saved with an everlasting salvation and you, you, you are sealed with the Holy Spirit, God's Holy Spirit. And it's a promise. And God does not go back on his promises. And you're sanctified for the day of uh, redemption, which is up upon us, the rapture. Wow. Uh, well, it's imminent. Nobody knows the exact time when it will be, but it looks like that day is pressing forward. Anyway, oops, here I am. Hello. Uh, God bless you all, as I say. Um, I'm going to pray this prayer, this psalm of protection over you, over you guys and over myself. I'm like preaching to myself as well as I do it. So, Psalm 91. Father, help me to remember every last word. And I pray you make this into a blessing over all the people that listen to it, Lord. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, nor any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honour him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. So, um, many a time I've been really sick, um, like ill, I mean, and uh, I've always remembered that God had promised to satisfy me with long life. So I, 
I always stood on that and I thought, well, if God's promised to satisfy me with long life, then this illness will surely not lead to death. So I stand on his promises and I urge you to stand on his promises. Remember, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. So uh, I sympathize with anybody who's going through trouble at the moment because I know what it's like. Father God, I just pray for anybody watching this who's, who's going through a hard time, Lord, because we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of heaven. But Lord, if anybody is sick, if anybody is down, depressed, Father God, if anybody's just uh, feeling like they can't go on anymore, I just pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you will just raise them up, because you raise up all those that be bowed down, Lord, so raise up every one of your servants, Lord, your children, um, raise them up and heal them, give them strength, those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall rise up with wings as eagles, so Lord, I just pray you pour out your power of the Holy Spirit upon them, all those that are sick and tired, and even everybody that's watching this lord in the name of jesus but especially healing upon everyone who's broken in the name of jesus christ heal the wounds lord bind them up and pour out your mercy your loving compassion upon everyone that um is watching this or hearing this prayer in the name of jesus christ i pray amen so let me tell you one thing um, I'm I'm 50 in December, yet yeah, it doesn't seem like <laughs> it doesn't seem very long since I was in my 20s. You know, it, that's how quick time is go. Time, our lives just fly past. The Bible says our, our lives are but a vapor. Um, one translation says we are like the morning mists which appear for a while and then and then are swept away. So are our lives. So how important is it that in this life we should um, question first why we are here and is there a God? And um, secondly, get to know the Lord Jesus Christ and secure your eternity in heaven with him simply by believing that he was crucified on the cross for all your sins and uh, they buried him in a, in a tomb with a big stone rolled over but three days later, an angel of the Lord removed moved that stone and um, Jesus was not found in that tomb. God raised him from the dead because God is all powerful. And just think, if he created this world, what else can he do? The Bible says he can do, a bu um, he can do a bu exceeding above all that we ask or think. So remember that as well. I always remember that many times throughout the Bible it says, is I am the Lord, the, the God of all flesh. Is anything too hard for me? It's Jeremiah, I think. But it says it in other places as well in Genesis. Is anything too hard for me? So remember that. I'm preaching to myself as well. So, um, well, I'll just try and get up here and show you Scarborough before I go. When you become adopted into the family of God, you are his child and you'll always be his child. No matter how old you are, you will always be God's child because you believed on his be only begotten son whom God sent in the world, into the world to die for us. Because the Bible says there's no forgiveness of sin without the shedding of blood. So it must have needs to be that Jesus came into the world to uh, die for our sins on the cross for us to be redeemed and saved. So I'm just trying to show you my town. Uh, this is Scarborough, UK. It, it's a nice town. Um, it's mostly a tourist tourist place, but um, it's pretty dead in the winter. Um, but summertime, it's uh, bustling very, very much so. Anyway, I'm going to get off. But I love you loads, whoever is watching. Hello, Virginia. Hello, Lee, if you're watching. Anybody else? I love you loads. God bless. Have a blessed day, or evening, or afternoon, wherever you are, and if you're watching this from somewhere else in the in the world, Jesus loves you. He will never leave you or not forsake you. Bye bye for now.